All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for World Season, Season 1, Season one Episode 8. We got right. MMO just adorableness last episode. It was really cute, like, little thing, seeing how they were brought into the gamer world of mm -hmm. Hirotaka. And now, uh, yeah, they're they're all having their little bits of fun within it. You know, yep. obviously Hirotaka's yep. the one that's trying really hard. And, no, no, not and, even and, trying. Oh, that's right, right. It's so not cool, trying. max level and everything. It's just... Ex so ridiculously easy. He's With just, you know, you know, he's he's uh, he's helping them out. He's, yeah. he's uh, you know, rocking the meme outfit and just guiding you know. them through their first exactly. MMO experience. But we also had another very important conversation mm -hmm. between the ladies, mm -hmm. and it got rather heated about who would be top and who would be bottom mm. between because their boyfriends. They both have very different perspectives mm. on each of the two men. And they're rather opinionated when it comes to this subject. Very biased, too. <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there's a obvious uh, perspectives they wish to uh, see things from, or have the others see things from. Right, and that can, uh, you know, of course, cause d civil wars and such. Yes, yes, but thankfully they weren't debating uh, which of them would be top or bottom, because then they'd be very mm. much trying to force a certain perspective, you know. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 So... Y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Ah, typhoon season? Oh, possibly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those clouds are moving fast. <laughs> Wait, that's... Is that a reference? Well, I could totally see that being no, a reference. No, no, so in Daily Lives of High School Boys, when the literary girl thing, when they're supposed to say something cool... That's he, right! He says the wind, the wind is, is troubled, troubled today. today. Now... That could also have been a reference to that, something else. Right. So they're now I'm like, because originally like, I thought minute. it was just an arbitrary line. You right. Know, just like say something generic and cool sounding. Maybe, maybe it is though like something that like, uh, like, you know, the lover in a poem like mm. says or something, yes. you know? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder actually how hard it would be to make that YouTube video of just this OP, you know? Hmm. Just to reenact it in live action. Yeah. yeah. Probably wouldn't be that hard. Probably not. Oh my god. He's been unleashed. <laughs> it is typhoon season. Okay, cool. Oh god, I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> is he scared of thunder? <laughs> and he still caught it? Yeah. Well, his can was 3D, you know, like on the way down. Just like. Mm. Oh. My moment has come. Is this where Hirotaka doesn't want to admit that he's scared of thunderstorms? Mm, and he wants to get maybe. his work done as fast as possible now? Yeah. Nope. Yep, good, good call. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's scared of thunder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't want to admit it, though. What's the story behind that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you're our friend. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, here we go. Okay. Oh! <laughs> made him lose progress or something? You don't understand the trauma. This couldn't be a particular game. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I get it! Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he now, what is he listening to? That's the real question. Right, because the headphones only do so much, you know. Oh, oh no. Is he going to yank out his headphones? Oh, no. Careful. Oh. Is he hiding under his desk? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it really rattled him. The whole, just yeah. the whole storm in general. Wow. Damn. She's like, I want to wanna be there for him and mm -hmm. help him out and stuff. So yeah, cool. and his nerves are all... Hey, wire now. Need yeah. To smoke. There's a part of me that wonders if there's something else to it too. Yeah, and he just doesn't want to give the. Oh, mm -hmm. here we go. <laughs> They're like on opposite sides of the wall, but it's so thin he could tell. 
俺はタバコ休憩だし私だってトイレから帰るとこだしじゃあスマホいじってるのはおかしいですね<笑>っていうか何タバコ休憩ってさも当然のように言ってたけどすぐ戻るから Oh, I love to see the little faces that they put into the text and yeah. stuff. Especially. Alright. She's like, hey, come give me a hug. Oh! Oh! <laughs> But. Oh! <laughs> okay. <笑>あ、オッケー。僕はどう。ゲームする。結構風大丈夫なの。ゲームしないとしない。かなわないな。うん。何何でもない。いや。いや。オッケー。落とさずに席まで戻れたら100万円ね。<笑><笑> <laughs> that was Jimitsu. <laughs> and they both work late? Oh, no. Just, uh, just, just her. Okay. So, but because. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I get the feeling I'm going to love this. This, this half? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, ears piercing. Yes. Back to this. Yes. Dame, dame. Oh. I mean, you want to leave those in for, yeah. you know, a while after yeah, you don't want to just time. put them in and take them out and leave it like that. That's... Yeah. Ah. Uh, wow. Oh. Wow. Shit. So he did. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is the okay. fails episode. <laughs> Look at how it. <laughs> He looks like a Yakuza trying to look. Like... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it b b b bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I love it. Ah, let's bring it up. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that smug smile. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still got me? Yeah. What's <laughs> going on? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Wow. Ouch. Now, there's a cute aspect to it, but it's also like, oh, uh, mm. okay. Okay. It's not what I asked, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, and he's still thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Holding the pill. Oh, oh, Baka. That's him mm -hmm. basically like giving the Baka yep. chop, you know? Yep, yep. Uh, I don't think he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going <laughs> fight, fight, fight! Oh my god. Let's go! I was gonna say, they definitely had sex last night, but now, probably not. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. This is, this is this is all foreplay. I'm sorry, your bars were great, uh, uh, Hanako, but his flowed a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> 
どんな感じなんすか<笑>いつも喧嘩してるわけじゃないですよね。お<笑>お<笑>、シリアスタック。いや、一緒に飯食ったり、ゲームしたり、休みの日は出かけたり。お前らと同じようなもんだろ。同じ。That look at his eyes. 休みの日は出かけ。ああ、外出しぶってアニメ見てたの誰かしら。休日しか見れねえだろうが。Wow, so no Kaishi, I look at night. She got a no shin or a car get a saw. I should not be doing it with you. Oh, wait, wait. Wow, she more yoking. Wow, I got that. It's your being you may also see her. I got him a kind of demo, none that it's yet the area. Hanako. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. And that's why your girlfriends ship you together. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> マジで何の話それにしてもなおちゃんも目悪かったんだねいつもはコンタクトなんだけど今朝は目が腫れててうまく入れられなくて久しぶりに号泣しちゃってさ<笑>え Who made you cry? いやいやあ、違うよ<笑>友達と映画見に行ってたんだよ What? <笑> yes, 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 yes <笑> Was it a date? Was it a date still? <laughs> That's not what I asked. <laughs> it was like a date still. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I asked. <laughs> Are you being philosophical? <laughs> yes. I love this episode. They're they're questioning yeah, great. the aspects of the relationship, which mm -hmm. means they'll actually drive some really good uh, conversations and stuff. Did. Oh, it's all what great. Out. Imaginary. Don't just not ask because you know. No. <laughs> I will say though, there is nothing better than than dating someone that is like really into anime though. Yes. Like that's that's a really like sweet thing, and it's not just anime specifically. It's just you have a shared crossover with your passions. Right. Yep. That's really what it comes down to. It is this. You don't have to be the same person or be super into that like very hyper specific mm -hmm. niche thing, but as long as there's that crossover on like some of your passions, right? It's really it makes things a lot easier. But when it's your favorite passion for both of you, then it's just oh, it just rocket awesome. ship, you know, just yeah, which is just yep. incredible. Okay, all right, cool. That was really yeah, good episode. That was a really good episode. Yeah, they they did a. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. That yeah. was a wonderful episode. Super sweet. And mm -hmm. we got a lot out of this episode. Mm -hmm. Like, just a lot for Hirotaka specifically. Yes. Yeah. Yes. This was kind of the Hirotaka episode. Yeah. We got backstory. Mm -hmm. We got a little bit of a contextual thing about how much him and Narumi have been together really mm -hmm. throughout their lives. A lot of the things that they've shared at pivotal moments for him, where yep. he's connected to her emotionally in a really strong way. He has crushed on her for not only a while, but also been like close to her in that kind of vulnerable but sweet way, you know, mm -hmm. since kids and stuff. Yep. And, you know, sharing like, oh, a moment where they overcame a fear together because they were together temporarily, you know, it wasn't mm -hmm. like permanent. Right. But then also watching uh, a moment where he was like, oh, that's who Narumi dates. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I can. Oh, what am I doing? What am yeah. I doing? You know. And oh, I. That's so relatable. So relatable. Like that kind of that kind of um, self consciousness. Mm -hmm. I love that they're getting into here because mm -hmm. it's, um, 
one that's something it's easy to think that that doesn't happen or that it shouldn't happen once you're into a relationship for oh, a decent period of time, right? Sure. And we kind of got into that in a, in one of the previous episodes when Hanako was all of a sudden like super nervous of like, hey, yep. are you going to suddenly wake up and realize that, you know, mm -hmm. you could do better than me or something like that? Or, totally. You know, that, a that, what, example of that, that when you yeah. say things like, you know, old hag, that it's actually like it's you real. actually might mean that, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, like that joke has to come from somewhere, basically. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, there, there's an aspect of relationships when you have too much of a good thing. Mm -hmm. Our brains uh, associate uh, those moments where we fell really far from a high height down to a really low yeah. low and panic every once in a while and basically try to protect ourselves and go, mm -hmm. avoid rejection, avoid pain, avoid all this yep. stuff because you might be about to run into something like that because right. this reminds you of something in your past and then you self-sabotage, mm -hmm. you uh, yep. you spiral and the best thing to do is talk it through mm -hmm. with the other person and just let them know that you're in that state right now. One of the best things you can do is actually bring the other person into that if they're a mature yeah. and yeah. healthy person because they're just going to be there for you, give you like warm drinks and mm -hmm. blankets and snuggles and just yep. kind of sit there with you and be like, it's okay. It's okay. It's all going to be okay. And that's like, it's just like, oh, I, I totally relate to all that. Yep. Yeah. And I, and I love that it's done for the, cause okay. Um, there's, there's certain sort of like assumptions and societal, uh, associations mm. for different, um, halves of the relationship and gotcha. and specifically that the guys it's not often shown that um you know guys can actually start to panic and get scared about things like that mm -hmm. and have it actually be a serious thing and not just something that's played for comedy because there's that whole you know toxic masculinity guys can't have feelings and stuff yeah and, and to be fair this was like a very simple form of fear like it, yeah it yeah totally in it the started, beginning to do with the relationship right yeah it started with just the oh thunder right you but know then it got better as it mm -hmm. kept going because it's the well okay you know when i'm around her i'm not scared of the thunder anymore mm -hmm. but wait what if what if suddenly she wasn't around and then i was you know mm -hmm. like like in all, all those other things and and i love that it happened for hirotaka specifically because he's the one that is he's the one that you would least expect something like that to happen for Right. Because he is, he is like, super stoic, stoic and, like, you know, yep. and very, very kind of robot-like and, and, and stuff. A bit, and a bit grounded, I would say, in, in sure. some ways compared to the other ones. Because while they're right. all otaku in their own specific way, mm -hmm. you can definitely see that Hirotaka has the most kind of balanced lifestyle. Sure, yeah. In like general. He, he accepts the otaku sides of himself and isn't, like, ashamed of it or anything. And definitely, you know, is like, all right, cool, I'm on my break. All right, I'm going to play my games, you know. Yeah, and then just right gonna... out at work, you know. Yeah, yeah, and then go back to work. Yeah, so he he doesn't really perform as much for society as the right. other three do. But he does have a lot of insecurities when it comes to Narumi mm -hmm. being someone that maybe he thinks he's not enough for. Yep. Or someone that he's not sufficient mm -hmm. enough for. And he remembers that association with his past when she was dating a guy mm -hmm. that had like some cool piercings and studs, right. and he's like, uh, "I don't have those." I don't okay, have well, that. maybe I'll, I'll do one. Yeah, I I think that is so. I think that is so oh. good because it gets at a really simplistic um, viewpoint that a lot of us when had when we were younger, and we liked someone that wasn't interested in us, mm -hmm. and we thought about what are the ways that we could get their attention. Right. To basically change that angle. And ultimately, all that stuff usually it doesn't do anything because the reasons why they're not paying attention to us have nothing to do usually with how we're performing. Right. It's to it's, do with it's just a them who, thing. The, who they yeah. are at the moment. They're, they're, not, yep. they're not looking your way, basically. <laughs> Narumi was in a, I need to date a guy with, you know, a bunch of earrings, you know, kind of a kind of a phase, sure, right? Sure, sure. Or at the very least, at that moment, she just was having a good, you know, time with the guy. Sure. And yeah, she wasn't necessarily looking at you that way because you're such a good friend. And that is a thing that I, I have I have been in like all the instances that are being brought up here. I've been the one who nearly did blonde highlights in my hair. You know, frosted tips and all that. Yeah. Because a girl that I really liked was into a guy with frosted tips and I was like I could do that. I could pull that off. I could make that happen. And I like almost made the meeting and everything, and it would have been a ton of money that I had saved up to make mm -hmm. it happen. And 
Thankfully, I had someone that uh, was very wise and uh, like, gave me a baka chop, basically, right, right. and uh, that was my sister. And mm, she's, yes, just, that, she's just like, no. I can, I can picture it now. Yeah, yeah. She, she basically was just like, no, don't do it, Caleb. No, <laughs> just don't. You'll regret it. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, okay, I won't do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, then, then we have the whole thing of, um, wait, hold on, I had a brain fart. Forgot what I was gonna say. Um, oh, not to me. Yeah, we'll just of, like be on the other side of things with like the thunder and all that. Right, because she is also trying to connect with him. Yeah. Right, she sees that there's something that's bothering him, and she doesn't exactly know what, and, and she wants to see what's up. Right. Right, and even if she knows that it is the thunder, it's not something that she knows necessarily how to connect to him in the midst of that. Right. Because for her, she's also scared of the thunder. But the last time that they connected through this was kind of an accidental, just, oh, we happened to bump into each other, yep. and, oh, ah, it all worked out. I remember what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. It's the whole thing of how suddenly when she makes one comment that's a very, it's a very small comment, right? You know, like Oh, the, you mean in, the second half of the episode? No, no, no. No, I think it was in the first half. And then all of a sudden that makes him, it might have been the second half, I'm not sure. Which comment? I, I don't remember the comment, but it makes him then think back to the whole thing of the Oh, um, oh yeah, when she's like, you wouldn't, no, no, with you, that would never That's happen. That's the second half, yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't need to worry about that, right? And then he thinks back to, in the very beginning of the this show, the basically, right? Episode, yeah. You know, so a while ago mm -hmm. of her comment of, oh, no, I don't want to, you're, you're, you're my otaku friend, I don't want to ruin that, right? Right. That'd be a waste. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, wait, now I'm starting wait. to get all these other insecurities and things like that from something that didn't even bother me back then. It was, you know, very much just like, a, okay, you yeah, know. Yeah, because he did kind of do this in a really, like, funny kind of way in how they ended up dating and that he was like, why not me? Yeah. And then she was like, uh, let's give it a shot. Uh. <laughs> and, and I love it because that's, it's, um... You know, we, we talked about that in the discussion for the first episode of how, how it was so wonderfully casual and just sort of brought up, right? It's yeah. like, a, hey, you know, let's let's try this out, you know? Yeah. But now... We're getting into the insecurities and immaturities of the people, so exactly. we realize that in some ways that was... Uh, they, they, there was a lot of buildup to that that happened behind the scenes that we didn't know about at the time. Yes, definitely. And mm -hmm. there were and there were certain things that were little little landmines and obstacles in the relationship that were avoided as a result of that. Right. And now they're starting to rear their ugly heads. Mm -hmm. And then we can have and as a result of that we can have something as as wonderful and yet as um as engaging of a conflict as simple as Let's go on a date. Let's go on a date. Like an actual date. Yeah. And I love that none of me was thinking like, oh, yeah, we go on dates all the time. Like, oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. You know, like, we actually don't really go on dates. We just kind of hang out together as friends kind of still. Right. Now, one of the things that I, I really, really think could be uh, a, a little source of wisdom that they find throughout all of this mm -hmm. is that they don't need to go on dates. Sure. Traditional dates are not a thing that suddenly make everything just ah right. so much better. That's the, in the solution. One size fits all. You yeah. didn't. Oh, you didn't have you know dates in there. Oh, you that, didn't well, go to dinner in a movie. You didn't mm -hmm. go and like walk on like at a park or at the right. beach or the something. St the, the stuff that they have of of hanging out and playing games together and stuff. That's the good shit already. You don't yeah. like the dinner in a movie. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what you do because you can't do that other stuff. <laughs> right. Right. What's funny is that they're doing. Doing this in the reverse order typically mm -hmm. because dates and even at the even at the basest animal level are the equivalent of basically like hey person that i am interested in i will expend a resource and sacrifice time in order to give you a wonderful time so that you know we can uh we can get closer and it's just like think about it think about it that's what dates are they're, Basically, especially yeah. in that early I mean, stage of the relationship. Yeah. It's, okay. It's mating a, rituals. It's all right, mating let's... rituals. It's basically <laughs> that. Sure. Yeah. But when things get casual, this feels like Star Trek. You know, like where it's like, ah, oh, yes, let's discuss the mating rituals of <laughs> of you know, twenty first century. Captain, you know, humans. You might find that the uh, <laughs> right. female is quite. Uh, oh my quite, God. Uh, uh, what 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 would his box say? Basically, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Quite capable of both logic and illogical thought, so mm. it'd as be are quite confusing. <laughs> as are all mem members of your species. As you are know. All, yes, yes, exactly. The the human female is quite a magnificent creature. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Spock wouldn't even say magnificent. He would say mm. it's a 
fascinating creature. Fascinating, yes. <laughs> yes. But, like, and, and, now, and now they're going to try what out... What are you? Talking about <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> but now they're going to try out this whole more regular date thing. And mm -hmm. I love it, not because, it's, not because they're choosing to, mm -hmm. to have a regular date. Right. But it's something where Hirotaka is basically realizing, I want to actually actively pursue Narumi in this relationship. Yes. And I feel like that hasn't been happening. Mm -hmm. And I want her to also realize that I am someone who can pursue. Right, right, and there is there is something there is something attractive in that because oh, yeah. she didn't need to drop any hints. The point I think that they were bringing up with having the Hanako Kabakura relationship was that mm. they've been so connected over all these years that in some ways <laughs> they can get away with this kind of casual banter shenanigans. Yes, and. They're so in love. They, they, oh yeah. They, they're like the, they're past like twenty five big hurdles that these guys haven't even come close to yet. I loved that part at the beginning of the episode when uh, uh, Kabakura was talking to Hirotaka about mm -hmm. something, and he says he's like, "Oh, you're not picking up on the hints or something like that." Yep, yep, and then suddenly, and then suddenly, Hanako is like, "What was that? Did you honestly just say that?" And he's like, "Hey, you old hag!" And then she just runs away. Like <laughs> her little face, like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah." That was. Gold. That was like, gold, yes. Oh, but so thinking good. about the idea of picking up on hints, mm -hmm. what Hirotaka kind of did was he looked inside with what he was going through, and he realized, oh, this might be where we're at. Mm -hmm. And this isn't something that she was picking up on specifically. Or, or communicating or to communicating him, even though she was him. thinking it. Right, but that little bit of time where she went to Starbucks without him, mm -hmm. going and having like those those little, like, those little comments and stuff, and he's like, "Oh, oh, you know what? Hmm. I want to take that. you out on a date. Yeah, I want to change that." Yep. And Hirotaka, this is where you're gonna just shine here, buddy. That's you right. Go. More power to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. And next I, episode, we get like a proper like date day, probably. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, and it's I'm, gonna be awkward, and there's gonna be mistakes, and they're gonna be fumbling. And it's around gonna be and goofy and silly and and, and and wonderful. And Hanako and Kabakura are gonna be like spying on them, yes. like making all kinds of commentary no, no, and shit. They'll, they'll be spying on them, but it won't be talking about their date. It'll be Hanako being like. See, 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 this is what it looks like, you, you, you stingy it's, piece of it's, shit. It's, you know? it's been two years, you asshole. You know, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. This is how long it's been since we got a proper thing. But you, you said you love just lounging around watching Shut anime up. and sweatpants. Yeah. Pants. yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, but you can totally see the two of them like sprawled out over each other, wearing basically like. You know, like a baggy T-shirt. She's wearing his baggy T-shirt. He's mm -hmm. wearing, like, no shirt and just sweatpants. And they're just, like, you know, just lying on each other being like, so should we watch the next episode? And she's like, what do you think, you asshole? And he's like, yeah, yeah, all right, next episode. And she's like, can you refill my drink? He's like, only for you, baby. And they, like, and it's like kisses uh, the back like, of her neck or whatever. And she's like, get, get off me, get off me. <laughs> sure. so like, I can totally see yep. these two. Now, just now, how so, they lounge about. Oh, know? yeah, definitely. Now, here's something that I think is, is good to bring up. They've been in, Hanako and, Ka, or, and Kapakura have been in a relationship for eight years. Yeah, many, many, many years. Many years, right? Since, since the end of high school. <laughs> He still can't pick up on any of her hints. Now, now, to now, be fair, no, no. to be fair, that might be an exaggeration on her part. Oh, totally, totally. And this is just an instance and, where he's kind of clueless. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's on him because she might be dropping hints that, quite frankly, are maybe super subtle. No and it's just pick up on and him. it's just a, an example and a representation, or not representation, but it's an example of her not being willing to openly and honestly communicate. Anyone, anyone who's like that in a relationship, listen to this shit. Mm -hmm. Because it takes two to tango. Vagary is not helpful. It's, nope. It's it's really funny how how true that is. The, and, and the simplest communication is the best communication. Yes. And there's something that I, on the there's aspects of it that I like and don't like from mm -hmm. this episode and how it went, in that, Hanako or uh, Narumi was thinking about the whole idea of oh we don't really go on dates and she was worried about that. Now in the end, uh, Hirotaka ended up asking her out on a date. Mm -hmm. She did not voice that desire for a date to him now that's that's now, okay because she hadn't made it a problem exactly in their dynamic yet. right right and and that's why i think it's and that's why it's i think it's really good and really sweet because then it's more of a thing of the that happy accident where yes, it's like very happy oh, coincidence yeah. i didn't okay cool yeah, yeah i was kind of thinking about that and i guess you were too oh we're you know we're so similar yeah. and all that stuff right but that might not have happened 
but it might not have happened. Mm -hmm. And it's and if it and if it was something where Narumi needed it to happen, mm -hmm. then she would have needed to she would have needed to communicate it because because um, while it's awesome that this happened, this is not something where she anyone could have expected Hirotaka or right. if their positions were reversed, Narumi to suddenly be like, hey, let's go on a date, Cause, right? Because replace date, because that's a typical relationship sure. thing. But replace it with anything replace else, Replace it with right? anything else. Any like kind an of emotional need that is, yeah. you know, has a physical or, thing or right, literal thing. Right, that involves doing. an action specifically right. from the other person that is um, solo, meaning that yeah. they have to initiate it. So an example would be, um, I want you to uh, introduce me to your parents or something. Right. And now I think it makes sense for, you know, Hirotaka to maybe eventually try and like introduce sure. her to family in general. Yeah. But that might be a thing that she like wants to happen within like a time frame or something. Or exactly. Like, yep. It, it is important to communicate that stuff. Yes. But yeah. But but it was super sweet that we got to to see this happen where Hirotaka is like, okay, I really want to do this, and then yeah, they're of course they're gonna go on a date, and it's gonna be super sweet and adorable and wonderful. <laughs> So also, I, I love that Naoya went on a movie little hangout, and uh, she's like, "Is it a date?" And like, "No, it's it's a guy friend or something." I'm like, yeah. "That does that's not the question. Like, Is it a date?" You know, <laughs> right? But I just love the way she went from like "go" oh, to who Wait made Naoya cry? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> whose whose nuts do I need to destroy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll like, get the garlic press. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but like. Oh man, <laughs> that was like two waves of, of hilarity that hit me because like I'm thinking like oh my god garlic press right the gate and then you did this and I was just like <laughs> but y'all thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon you can get on early access there you can watch full length timer reactions there and all this comes with Discord access you can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel we stream every weekday the info's in the description yeah so if ain't that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're Semblance of Sanity I'm Caleb I'm Jacob and we'll see you all next time, time.